and let us all that we can to build a better future. I want to be very careful when talking about this segment, okay? Now, look, I am a supporter of third-party candidates. I've been abundantly clear about this since we started Hardlands Media from the beginning. When we were on the streets with a Galaxy S7 cell phone, when we started on AM radio, when we got into Can TV, public access television, and yes, even when we got here on YouTube and on Rockfin, Rumble, Kick, Odyssey, all of that, all of that, all of that. I believe that, yes, we should have a multi-party system, but since then, my beliefs have also shifted in the fact we should abolish all political parties, and we need to start supporting citizen ballot initiatives, and it's up to the people to take the initiative. Um, And in this election cycle, we could see potentially, potentially, third-party candidates, maybe, with enough voter engagement, to potentially get that coveted 5% in the general election or above. Ideally, you want to get more than just 5% of the votes in the general election. That's that's just how I feel. But like again, feelings and what's going to happen, two different things altogether. But something caught my attention, and I want to give a huge shout out to Colin Radix Carter of Indie News Network. Because again, third party candidates have a lot to go up against. There's a lot of roadblocks at the state and federal level. And yes, funding is key. But I call into question in regards to how this was articulated and how this was presented to the people online. And we have to talk about Dr. Cornell West and Dr. Jill Stein and their decision to bring on Peter Dow. Now, I want to hold out for hope that yes, people do change. Look, I, I, I think I think that's important. Pe- people can change. People can change. But Peter Dow's history has left a lot of people angry and upset and furious. And many people still have the scars and memories of what happened in 2016 and then on, and as well as the association with the Democratic Party. And I f- feel that this was a horrible decision uh, by Dr. West and Dr. Stein to have Peter Dow as your campaign manager. Okay? That's just a, a bad decision to make. A horrible decision to make. So what am I talking about? Well, the Green Party and Dr. Cornell West are holding a well fundraising event. I want to pull up this tweet here. I hope to see I hope to get to see as many of you there, RSVP. And it's a fundraising reception. Um, Dia Benjamin's going to be there, you know, and it's going to be on October 3rd at 5 p.m. And look, it looks like a looks like a fun event. I can't play the music because copyright, but it looks like a fun jazz event. It's fine. Fine by me. Fine by me. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of jazz. I like the music. I like the comfort that it brings. However, <clears throat> you got to read the goddamn room and there was a better way, a far better way of sending this message out because a lot of people still have the memories of the Democrats screwing them over. And many people have even felt that Peter Dow is somebody that's going to undermine the Green Party. So Colin Rass Carter tweeted this out. Uh, I'm sorry, Dr. Cornell West, but why are you charging up to $1,000 for people to see you in the name of fundraising? This is the same shite that the Justice Democrats did for the Squad Victory Fund event that I paid $75 for. This event is for the professional managerial class, not the working class. So this is a screenshot. Together, we can make a difference and work towards a more just, equitable, and sustainable world. We look forward to seeing you there. All right. Here's where it's going to be at. There's where you get contact. $1,000 $1,000 ballot access sponsor. That's a little pricey. $500 living wage champion. A little pricey. $250 climate champion. A little pricey. $100 peace champion. Well, I like to peaceably say that that's a little pricey and n- nothing else. So let me just do one real thing. Quick thing right here to uh, change it up. Now, that was a screenshot, and again, just so you know, took place September 29th, 2023. Today is October 2nd, 2023, and what do we have here? Well, it looks a little different. 
This is a link to the website. We only have the hundred dollar piece champion. Uh, okay. I get it. You need money to do a fundraiser, right? However, okay, there, 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 there might have been maybe a better way to doing this. And already the ink is dry, so it's like trying to paint and recreate the Mona Lisa. You just can't do it, okay? But um, maybe instead you could have made it more a little bit open. Like, hey, look, we got these tickets to do fundraisers or something like that. And maybe hold another event where you could speak to people more freely. Maybe tell them, hey, come as you can. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, apparently, Peter Dow says being a campaign manager is a pretty difficult job. But for the love of God, Dow, people doubt you already, Peter Dow. All right. And you've already had these three interviews. And they're semi- mediocre i'm being kind with that you might have won some people over you probably lost some people over but this entire thing here again come as you can okay if you'd like to attend but unable to afford a hundred dollars contribution please email fundraising for dr cornell and we'll accommodate you fine that's fine that's fine but i don't see that in the first one because you probably got called out and again again peter the fact that you're kind of like a big front runner person, you know, that you're a big sign that people can reach out to. That's not really the best thing for a campaign manager. Thank you for flagging this. The higher suggested amounts will be removed shortly to avoid confusion. Why did you do it in the first place, Peter? Why did you do it in the first place? The fundraiser is $100 for entry and will accommodate anyone who will like to attend for what they can afford. Why? Didn't you put that in the beginning? Why, again, we have Colin, who shared this tweet again, screenshot it, and we have all this. Why'd you do this in the first place? Did, did, did you not think anyone was going to say anything? Peter, seriously, Peter, this doesn't put the Green Party in a good light. It's kind of bad. And of course, going further, Colin goes on to say, uh, what say you? Um, you you said you are open to criticism. Why is Dr. Cornel West hosting an event that working class people will not have access to here? It's not like people have $100 lying around these days when buying food is expensive. And yes, the food is expensive. I replied to your original post, see below, as I explained the fundraiser $100, and we've been accommodated anyone who wants to attend but can't afford that contribution level. Then why did you do it in the first place? Because now you're back flipping. You're flip-flopping all over the place. You're trying to do something and present something that makes no sense whatsoever, Peter. Again, shout out to Nico House, good friend of the show. I'm going to keep it real, Peter Dow. This is a DNC fundraising tactic. For them, it's normal and effective. But for the people they're raising money from in the DNC at these events are not working class and poor people, which is the opposite of who Wes is supposed to be campaigning to. Somebody got to get him to read the room because every time I want to sing his praises for doing great, some shite like this comes out and it makes it hard to support him for a lack of consistency. And consistency is key. Like there's a lack of consistency on a day-to-day -day basis at this point. So I want to open the room up and ask all of you for your thoughts. Do you have confidence in Dr. Corner West campaign so far being handled by Peter Dow? Uh, type one for no, just give it a chance. There's a little hiccups on the road. Uh, it'll, 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 it'll be moving like a well-oiled machine very soon. Type two, no, I have some serious doubts, and I'm afraid that this campaign is going to go under very, very soon. I'm very interested to see how it will turn out, and let's be respectful to each other's decisions. I want to bring up this tweet here as well from Reef Breland. Tickets for the squad event start at $25. So here we go. So a few months ago, I did cover when Colin and crew members from INN did attend the squad victory fund event. Uh, again, $25. It's reasonable. If you got an Andrew Jackson and an old Abe Lincoln in your hip back pocket, $50, $75, $250, $500. When, when, when the squad victory fund is more reasonable than this, 
you you are in a bad spot. Plus, again, the squad victory fund, at least they didn't have to do a little flip-flop like you did, Peter. Like right here. Thank you for flagging this. Peter, listen, buddy, you said on in your interviews with Tim Black, Brianna Joy Gray, and Sabby that, you know, hey, you got to be in charge of everything. It's a difficult job. I get it. How come you didn't notice this before yet you gave it the green light? Because this, from the Green Party, compared to this that was shared by Reef Breland for the Squad Victory Fund, the fact that this looks more reasonable is pretty pathetic. And there is be becoming a consistent theme of lack of consistency from the West campaign, to which, again, I can't help but replay. And I did have, as soon as I saw that tweet from Colin from INN, I had to rewatch that Jimmy Dore interview that Dr. West had. There is something amiss here. Now, maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe I'm wrong. OK, I, I do want to hold out for the audacity of hope. Because I do want to see the Green Party succeed. I want to see Libertarians succeed. I want to see Independents succeed. But when you have situations like this, and I get it, fundraising is key. The fact you had to do a little flip-flop, Peter, for this, and you're suggesting it, and you're now once again fixing it to where what once was looking like this is now looking like this. I do have to call into question just how consistent this campaign is going to be. I hope I'm wrong. But this campaign needs to start improving itself more so now because very soon, in a few months, we'll be entering into January. And it's game time, 2024. And everyone across the political spectrum is going to have to put on their game face because this election cycle, for my own hope, will probably be the most intensified election cycle of our lifetime. Not the most important, because it ain't, but probably the most intensive because a lot of emotions will be running high. And I want to see the success of third-party candidates. I want to see them win. I want to see that happen. But with actions that was done by the Cornell West campaign over this weekend so far for this fundraising event, it doesn't install confidence. And I do hope that they're able to fix themselves up or perhaps maybe find a campaign manager that won't undermine the West campaign. But things aren't looking too hot right now. It's 50-50.